friends welcome back to studio vlog number 22 we are picking up right where we left off on studio vlog 21 so that means we are rewinding back to october i know it has been a while but we're taking product photos and we are doing cousins crafts making jewelry holders like this and we are launching the shop in this video although it, by now it's been two months so old news i know i have been experimenting with a couple different videos trying to figure out what i want to do with my channel stuff like that just doing what i want to make basically and i have had this footage on my laptop for two months now and i asked you guys over on my instagram if you wanted me to break these up into a couple different videos or just put them all in one vlog and you guys voted on breaking them up into smaller videos so the next couple studio vlogs will be from October by 2022 we will be all caught up with the future so yeah come get cozy grab a snack we are going to take some product photos we're gonna go back to one of the best weekends of this year in my opinion Harry Styles might be involved let's get on with the video. Good morning guys! It is Wednesday today. I woke up this morning with so much anxiety. I thought it was Thursday and I was like holy shit like how am I gonna get all this up by tomorrow and thankfully it was Wednesday. I made a list of all the photos I have to take and this is my current setup. Um, right now I'm using my vlog camera and this is my trusty Panasonic GH4. I've had this since my sophomore year of high school, so I think I've had this camera for more than six years now. It has been through so much with me. It's been around the world with me. Never gonna get rid of this camera. It's on the tripod. It's facing downwards so I could put all the products here. And then I just use a bunch of construction paper. I have all these reddish, warm, orange tones. And then I didn't have green construction paper, so I just printed out two sheets of green paper. I have the blinds closed because I want more of a soft light rather than a harsh sunlight lighting that casts like shadows and stuff. So this is the current setup. You can see it's nice and centered in the viewfinder here. And yeah, so I'm just going to take a bunch of photos. I'm going to switch up the color of the construction paper and stuff. And then I'm going to have to edit so many photos later. Eee. I'm also experimenting with the layouts. I'm just going to take a bunch of different ones right now and then choose which ones I like in post-production because I think it's better to have more options than less options. So this is one of the ones I'm doing right now. So I'm laying them out like this. You know those like mock-up photos? It kind of looks a bit like this. Try to line them up as best as I can, but this is what it looks like in the viewfinder. It actually looks pretty cool yet yeah, look at the difference like like this is what it looks like in real life and then this is the photo like it looks completely different Okay, this is taking absolutely forever. Do you see this mess I have created? Just finished up all the stickers. I think that took the longest. And now the last product photo that I have to take with the tripod set up like this are the photos with everything in it. So I'm gonna try to lay out everything all together. And we are done with the flat lays at least. This is everything that will be in my shop. We have prints, stickers, enamel pins, the tote bag. Um, what else? The memo pads. Good morning, guys. Um, today is the day of the new shop update last night. Um, last night, I worked on the website until... 3 a.m. We have 
everything on there now all the products are up there i have to make a few tweaks to it today and link stuff so i woke up early this morning my goal is to finish all the website stuff i'm gonna do that today before i log in to work at nine and i am getting off at 3 p.m to launch the shop so ah it'll be like eight hours for me but only like two seconds until you see me next I'm nervous. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just posted. Uh, okay, I'm just like not gonna check my phone for the next like couple hours. Oh my gosh. Um, this was my first Inktober. This was my first day. <gasps> I got an order. Oh my god. That was so fun. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. Oh my gosh, you are awesome. Ah, thank you. I'm just going to sit here. <laughs> and yeah, okay. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Um, but okay. It is Friday night and I am packing to go to my cousin's house right now. Last year we called it Cousins Crafts because my cousins are also pretty artsy. We all chose a secret craft to bring and we surprise each other with it and then we basically just craft for like the next two days. So I'm thinking it's a good time to catch up on Inktober and just chill because this week has been so hectic. And then on Sunday, my friend's boyfriend is surprising her with Harry Styles tickets and I'm in on it. So I am going to go see Harry Styles. <laughs> so this has, this has been a crazy week. Yeah, it doesn't like instantly. What the? Wow. So focused. guys i am back home and this past weekend was literally one of the best weekends of my life it was the most ideal weekend in my opinion first obviously it was a shop update thank you so so much to everybody who ordered um today we are going to pack 50 orders and i took off from work today so i'm gonna spend the whole day doing that so i could get everyone's orders out by tonight and then i had cousins crafts with my cousins and i'll show you guys all the stuff we made the craft i brought was air dry clay so these are the things i made i'm still waiting for the clay to dry so i made this brush holder it's just a mountain i'm gonna paint him maybe like green or blue um so you just put your brush right here and it just holds one brush i usually just use one brush at a time so I need I need to paint that later. I have to make a jewelry dish for all my earrings and rings and stuff. And then I made this person. Uh, I had boobies on it, like to hold the rings, but it fell off in the car. And like the bottom of it is not. The bottom of it is very messy, which I might have to fix. But it's so cute. It has a face and its little feet. Interrupting myself because it's time for a sponsor and I must have had some sort of intuition when I made this jewelry holder because today's sponsor is the amazing Ana Luisa Jewelry. I talk about them all the time if you guys watch my videos, but if you didn't know, they are a sustainable jewelry brand, meaning they use recycled materials whenever possible and they are also 100% carbon and water neutral, which is awesome and they make really cute jewelry. My favorite pieces currently are their Tempest necklace, which is on my gift guide, and these rings, which I am going to showcase on my new jewelry holder. Um, 
but but yes, oh, they look so nice on there, don't they? So they are having an end of the year sale. So click the link in my description to head to their site and get some beautiful pieces. Thank you, Anna Luisa, for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the Cousins Crafts. This was the first craft we did was tie dyeing. And this is how mine came out. This is mine. It's really cute. I want it to be gray, but it turned out like bluish and the stripes came out the wrong way, but I don't mind it. I think it still looks really cute. Next craft we did, my cousin Christy got us these notebooks. It's like paint by numbers, but bedazzling paint by numbers. So this part is sticky and then you use this little tool to stick all the beads on. And I think this looks so funny. It's very like Y2K Ed Hardy-esque. Um, so we did that. This was pretty time consuming. Like, it's kind of relaxing if you need something to do, like, while you're watching TV. But I don't know if I would personally be bedazzling in the future. I started using this as, like, a sketchbook for my Inktober sketches, so... <laughs> and it's really funny. I wish I was, like, in school so I could, like, take this out of my backpack and look, like, so fly in class. <laughs> and the next craft we did, my cousin got... Um, like fake flowers and dried flowers and moss and I think this is called a cloche 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 or cloche terrarium so this has foam at the bottom and you stick all the flowers in and I wanted mine to be like really dainty and this like kind of reminds me of like what a fairy would live in so this was actually really fun I would love to do like flower arranging in the future I think it's so beautiful and I really like um all these little flowers here so that was a good craft. That is what I made. And then the best part, I saw Harry Styles and um, my, my best friend's boyfriend wanted to surprise her. So she had no idea where we were going. And then when we got to the concert venue and she saw like the poster of Harry Styles, I was like, this is the time to reveal. And I got these shirts off Etsy so the both of us could wear. This one is mine. It's so funny. Um, and I'm not like a huge Harry Styles fan, but like I like his songs and it was so good. He was such a good performer. Like even though we were all the way up top, it was still such a good concert and I had so much fun. It was crazy. It was crazy there, but I had so much fun. Yep, so now it's time to get back into packing. We have 50 orders to pack up, so I will bring you along for that. Sorry for the abrupt ending. Future me back again and I hope you guys enjoyed today's studio vlog. Spoiler alert, right after that last clip, I did get food poisoning that night and I was out of commission for like two weeks. One of the reasons why I was so behind on footage and stuff. But we will be packing orders in the next video. So hope to see you then. Don't forget to check out Anna Luisa's holiday sale and I will see you guys next time. Bye.